all right guys welcome to jobby tv make sure you subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up like our videos and drop your thoughts in the comment box because your feedback is our strength a soldier was caught supplying uniform to bandits an army officer and his girlfriend were recently arrested while they were assisting bandits with military uniforms the deputy chief of staff of governor to governor Bilu muhammad matawali dr bashir Muhammad Maru told reporters at a news conference on Friday that the arrest was made possible through community-driven intelligence. Wow, how did we get here? How did we get here? Hmm. Can you imagine? How many officer who is supposed to be protecting lives and property, who is supposed to be fighting banditry, who is supposed to be fighting terrorism, is the one supporting it is the one supplying them uniform military uniforms and weapons that they will use to operate chai this is a very very serious issue that we have found ourselves in nigeria it's only god that can help us out right now because everything has turned upside down how will an army officer be caught you know being an informant for bandits now tell me how with bandits would not you know defeat even the army uh, battalions when they have to face each other because there are traitors among them traitors traitors big time traitors so this is so so pathetic and so painful an army officer caught in the act of supplying uniforms army uniforms and weapons to bandits this is so so heartbreaking so heartbreaking and i think governments need to really visit the nigerian army at this moment and filter out traitors because at this point in time we have come to a critical point in this country where we need to catch the bull by the horn this whole thing has become so so serious that we cannot even handle it it seems as if Nigeria's case has become like a basket that is throwing out waters. That there are so many perforated holes. So there is no specific point by which you can attack the leakages. Wow, this is so, so serious and difficult. I tell you, if Nigeria should continue like this, then hmm, there is no future, neither is there any hope. For this country because this is a, a, a rebellious form of troop that we are into so it means in, among the terrorists there are armies and among the armies there are terrorists so where do we go from here and that is why we are seeing in so many cases when these bandits come to operate nobody challenges them we saw it when they when they, when they you know kidnapped abducted you know hundreds of school girls in cast in niger state then also in samvara state there was nobody throughout the operation it's not a simple thing to 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 you know abduct 300 school girls 300 people is not is not a small number how were they successfully transporting that that multitude of puppies outside the states and they couldn't they were not caught at all no police no form of forces and security force to catch them and get them arrested throughout the operation so it does mean that the operation they are embarking on was really informed was informed by the in-house security agencies and that is a very very serious issue for us that we have gotten traitors among the nigerian army who should protect the interests of the people ah it is well anyways let's know your thoughts in the comment box what do you think federal government can do to this kind of situations you know when a traitor is being caught like this what should be the punishment and what should be the way forward in getting more of them and you know separating them from the real nigerian soldiers thank you for staying tuned bye for now